All right, if you're getting an error message that says that you can't find the file irremote.h, here's the fix for that. Okay, so this is on a Mac, but you can do an equivalent thing on a Windows machine. It's the ideas that you need to follow. Okay, so I'm going to look at Finder, which I guess is my computer on a PC. It's been a long time since I used a PC, so I vaguely remember that. Um, so I'm going to navigate to where I have my Arduino folder. All right, so on your PC or on your Mac, you'll probably have the Arduino folder somewhere that you can find. On a Mac, it's under the Documents folder if you use the default install. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is delete the existing IR remote directory if you have it installed. If you don't have it installed, you can skip this step. But all right, so what we're going to do is I've navigated to IR remote. I'm going to just totally delete that folder. Okay. So on a Mac, you just say move to trash and that's deleted. Okay. So on a PC, if you're reinstalling the IR remote library, you just delete it. If you've never installed it, here's what you do next. Okay. So next you run the Arduino program. Okay. So on a Mac, you invoke that. Um, and then you go to sketch and then include library and then add .zip library. Okay, so I do that and it gives me another way of browsing files on my computer. And so what you need to find is the software that came with your Arduino board. Okay, so you've probably put that somewhere on your computer and in my case, I moved that, that file to the Arduino folder. All right, so in your case, you can just navigate to it. All right, so I have it under Documents, Arduino. And you see here's the Oligo Super Starter Kit folder. All right, so I click on that. And then I know that these experiments are under English and it's a multi-mode. You know, I've looked through the documentation. I found all these things. And so the next thing you do is you find controlling a stepper motor with remote. And there we go. There's this IR remote .zip. Okay. So once you find that, you can even search for it on your computer. Just know where it is. Once you find that, you click on it and it says here, libraries added. All right. And you should be good to go. Okay, so if I click back on, you know, I go back to my finder and I look. Now, you know, I just deleted that folder. Now it's back. Okay, and you see it does have this file here called irremote.h. And so that should take care of that problem. And your code should compile from there. All right, so those are the general steps. Uh, if you have happen to have a copy of irremote.h, and you can find you can find that in that zip file. You could just copy that into the right folder. That should work too. But this seems like a pretty straightforward way of solving this problem.